Danny can rent a van for either $80 with unlimited mileage or $45 with 100 free miles and an extra charge of 40 cents for each mile over 100. For what number of miles traveled would the unlimited mileage plan save Danny money? Let's start by familiarizing ourselves with this situation and we'll let X equal the number of miles driven. There are two plans that Danny can choose from, the unlimited mileage plan, which would simply cost her $80, or the pay for the miles plan, which will cost her $45. plus 40 cents, which we'll write in terms of dollars as 0 0.40, times the number of miles over 100. So we can write that as x minus 100. Now we're asked to find the plan that would save Danny money, the, what, how many miles the unlimited plan would save her money. So we're looking for where the cost for the unlimited plan is less than the cost where she pays for each mile over 100. So that would give us the inequality as we translate. 80 is less than 45 plus 0 0.4 times x minus 100. And the solutions to this inequality will give us the number of miles that she can drive for which the unlimited plan will be less expensive. Let's solve. We have 80 is less than 45 plus 0.4x minus 40. And we can combine terms. That gives us 80 is less than 45 minus 40 is 5 plus 0.4x. Subtracting 5 from both sides, we have 75 is less than 0.4x. And dividing both sides by 0.4, we would have 187.5 is less than x. Now remember, x was the number of miles driven, so when the number of miles driven is greater than 187.5, the unlimited plan would be less expensive. We can check by checking our calculations again, maybe checking a number that's greater than 187.5 and seeing if the unlimited plan is less expensive. And we'd find that this is the solution we're looking for. So we can state then that Danny will save money for more than 187.5, or we usually would write that as 187 and one half miles.